Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on our channel. This is another how-to video. I wanted to show you how I achieved this look with James West from the Wild Wild West back in the 1960s. So um, I always liked James West. He always looked really smart looking in terms of attire, clothing. He always had these short jackets and over the years, I kept thinking, how could I make a character that would do him justice? I'm going to show you basically what I did to create this particular look. So let me pause right now and get set up for that. So the first thing I needed to do was to find the correct clothing that would work with James West. I, I found a vest from Battle Gear Toys, which was blue and paisley, which is the vest that's yeah, on the inside of this suit here. Very nice quality. I was able to find a, a short jacket and a pair of matching pants. These are actually a German uniform with shoulder pads on it and stripes on the side. And obviously we don't want the stripes and we don't want the, the shoulder pads. So I'll show you exactly what I did. Um, we'll get set up for that now and I'll show you exactly what happened. So we're gonna start with the stripe and I'm just gonna get us started and then show you the, the final look of the pants after you get the stripes out. But you're gonna try to probably go for the middle because I think it's harder to start taking the, the white threads away from the, the elastic strand here towards the end. It's better if you try to go for the, for the middle, but basically you're trying to pull, pull the, the, white, the white thing away and try to find a little spot where you can maybe start making cuts. It's really hard to do, but if you can if you can get in there and not ruin the pants itself, you're always doing a good, a good job. Um, but you would just keep basically pulling as tight as you can and then just cutting the string as, as best as you can. I've already made progress. You can probably see it here in terms of pulling it, pulling it up, right? So you, yeah. And we just want to keep doing it, not not to just this side, but to the other side. But let me let me get a little bit more going here, so you can really get a better feel for the idea. Because once you go through one side pretty good, it is so much easier to get to get a grip to the other side. Now see, see how much I've pulled, pulled apart now? That's, that's really good. Now I can start to see the other side and I can actually get a foothold on the other side. Again, you're really doing your best not to damage the, uh, the blue material. You're just trying to go for as much as possible to, oh, that was nice, the white material. So you can probably now see that I've gotten my finger through the, the white stripe. That's, that's always a good thing. Now, you just would keep attacking the white thread, keep pulling it apart, attacking the white thread, keep pulling it apart, and eventually, with enough patience and perseverance, you're gonna get a, you're finally gonna get this thing off. And it will end up looking basically like this. So you have blue pants, no white stripes on either end. That's, that's the easy part. The harder part is where you have the shoulder boards themselves. So we'll, we'll take a second. Let me pause it 
uh, for that one. And I'll get set up in terms of how to explain this process. The next thing to attack on the jacket, of course, are the, the shoulder boards. This is the hardest part to do. You really want to make sure you have a, a, a sharp X-Acto knife so that you can really focus on the threads attaching the shoulder board and not, not any strings associated with the jacket itself. So anyway, I would start at one end, the end closest to the lapel, the collar, and I would try to pull it as tightly as possible until I see, and I do see the threads showing right now. So I am trying to get in there and I'm just wanting to, let me not use my glasses on this one, that'll help. Trying to get in there and just cut that thread. Oh, good. So, hopefully you can see it. I've gotten the shoulder board, basically, I've gotten the shoulder board from the top off. Now, now we're in trouble. We're in trouble zone because this is the next part and it's the hardest part imaginable. Let me cut this stray, I wonder what it fell. Oh, it was one of the, it was the button that was attaching the shoulder board to the jacket, but we don't need it. So now I'm going to, I was gonna cut that loose thread, but I'll just skip that part. Now I'm gonna to try to attack the other side of the shoulder board. And again, it's a good time to take glasses off. I'm looking for the threads and I'm gonna do my best to get in here and just simply cut those things. Okay, I think I got one of them. Yeah. Now, these are really in there good. I mean, they're part of this, the, the shoulder sleeve itself. So as you start to get this separated, what's going to happen is that the shoulder is going to start separating from the sleeve. But there's a fix for that. And I think what I'll do is I will really work on getting this out first. So we're gonna take a pause, let me get it out. I'll show you what's left over. When we do get it out, you'll see that the, the shoulder and the, uh, where it connects to the jacket, it's gonna be pulled away a bit. How can we reconnect it in the most I guess the most effective way manageable. So we'll take a pause right now, okay? Now this is what I wanted you to see. This really looks awful. This, this, this looks like it's been ruined beyond repair. That shoulder board is into that sleeve exceptionally deeply. And this is how it's going to look once you finally get it out. We can still fix this. I know it doesn't look like we can, but we will be able to fix it just fine. So let me, what I want to do right now is take a pause. I'm going to cut some of the loose strings off as many as I possibly can, and then show you how to fix this. So what I did in terms of the material that was pulled out was I started to push it back in. And if I had to use a, a flathead screwdriver to get it in better, I did until it was starting to line up as nicely as I could make it, okay? Now, granted, I don't wanna sew this into place. I'm too lazy for that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do at this point in time to, to hold this together is to actually use super glue. So bear with me now. We'll pause. I'll get a setup for the super glue part. Okay, what I've done is I put a little super glue 
on a needle. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm just not trying to touch the outside of the material, but I'm trying to touch the inside of the material as best as I can and get that super glue in there. And then I'm just going to press it together as tightly as I can. And if I've done it well, <laughs> well, uh, as you can see here, I've taken both shoulder boards out and I put super glue in and pressed the sleeves together on both ends. One thing is for sure, these sleeves are not going to go anywhere anytime soon. It gives it a more tailored look. It looks great. If you're not a seamstress, obviously it looks great. We're going to pause for a second. I'm going to show you the top part of my James West character so you can see how how well the jacket looks in terms of the sleeves area. Here is the top of James West, Robert Conrad's jacket. We're going to slowly move him back to his stand. and put his hat on as well. There you go. He's looking pretty, pretty darn good with that jacket. And just think, let me bring out another jacket. I bought a whole bunch of these. <laughs> this is what we started with. We started with a dress, a German dress uniform that had shoulder boards on it. And even though it looked awful in terms of what happened when we took the shoulder boards off, you can't deny that the end product looks absolutely stunning. Here is our final character, James West, played by Robert Conrad in the 1960s in the television series Wild Wild West. And all of this from a German officer uniform. Who would have thought that all we needed were two tools, basically, an X-Acto knife and super glue to create the look that we wanted to achieve. Anyway, I'm hoping that this has kind of generated more creative juices for you to take current articles of clothing and modify them in some way to produce some sort of outcome that you truly, truly want. In this case, I was very pleased with the outcome. I hope you've liked what you've seen here. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and hopefully you can subscribe to our channel as well. In the meantime, have a great one. Oh, 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 oh,